Hello everybody and welcome to Teddy Bird Gaming. I know it's been a while and uh, god it's been such a long time in fact. <laughs> I just uh, like there's a lot of things that have gotten in the way um, and like a lot of life things, a lot of you know things I, I just and I've just moved further and further away from uh, making videos and YouTube and everything like that and a lot of, very demotivated to carry on um, with it but I do want to get back into it and hopefully um, this game um, will be some sort of start when I saw it it's a sort of very story based game it's called Firewatch um, you may have seen it it had a lot of hype um, and everything not so long ago um, and it's finally come out um, it, yeah as I said it's a story based game and you sort of got a I don't know too much about it but uh looks looks pretty fun and uh I thought it'd be something that hopefully you know you guys can come on an ad and adventure with me so uh let's uh get straight into it um but yeah I've um well I try not to talk too much over the uh, storyline but here we go Now we're in Colorado, 1975. You see, Julia. Okay. Oh, okay. Right, I've got to click on it, apparently. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with the well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So you gotta looks like we got a few options in this game. Um so what's your <laughs> what's your, you know, major? Or you. You're pretty. <laughs> um Okay, so we're drunk. I don't know why, but um we are. Um, I don't think we should be going around chatting up random people. Um, maybe not front on anyway. Um, so we're gonna go with uh, so. What's you know your major? You slur the word major and it smells like cause. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours? She asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Was that a burn, you ask? She says definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that was quick. Oh, okay, we're in a lift now. Um, so we can use the mouse to pick up objects. Oh, we have a backpack, I see. So we're in a lift. Um, are we still drunk or is this a little bit later? It looks like a little bit later. So we've already fallen in love with this Julia, whoever she is. So truck door. I suppose we, we get in, I guess this is our truck. Surely that'll fall out. I don't know, but okay. <laughs> you date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. Is it? <laughs> I, mean, I got quite like the feel of this game already. It's kind of you know a bit chilled, but um, I think I think we're gonna enjoy this, guys. I know it's been like a long time, and I'll probably keep going back to it like loads. But um, yeah, I, I hopefully this is a start of something good. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two, you two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. <laughs> Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with, <laughs> bring it with her to class. 
Um, there's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. <laughs> you pick up the beagle and she names it him Bucket. Or you adopt the shepherd and name him Mayhem. Ooh. I don't like the sound of Mayhem. I'm afraid. I quite like beagles. Even though they're quite generic. But, uh... <laughs> but, um... Ah, oh, although I do like German Shepherds, but when you name him, I don't know, Mayhem's actually quite a good name. I don't know. Um, I feel like this is going to play back during the story. So we're going to be um, all over Julia in this one and just like go with her decision. Bucket's a good dog and a week later you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. Oh, okay. You love him too. So I guess we're conforming to Julia. I don't know whether this is going to pan out well or, not, well or not. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30pm. And the and the heat still radiates off the high desert. So what do you think about kids? She asks. Oh god. Kids. They're not very smart. Or good at much. I'm saying if you, if you and I have some. A couple of little idiots. That would be pretty good. Or one day. Uh, why rush? I mean, I feel like if we keep coming for, I feel like if we say something's bad's gonna happen here, I don't think this is all gonna be happy go lucky. Um, but um, but you know, one day I think it was only been a year or something, hasn't it? So one day, why rush? She looks away out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, Mister. Don't worry, you assure her. You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. My ovaries didn't get the, the memo, she says, laughing it off. Okay, one day, okay? Okay, one day, she says. Six months later, you get engaged lying in bed on a Sunday morning. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. We're in a we're in a forest somewhere. What do we do? Can I move? Ah, oh, yes, I can. Uh, I mean, this is the most like obvious thing to look at, I guess. Um, looks like a map, two forks, region overview. Do you not forget to check in? You're in their country. Learn to live with bears. Okay, so there's bears. <laughs> I'm hoping. Well, actually, well, teddy bear. I mean, we'll embrace the bears when it comes along. Warning. Thoroughfare trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Thoroughfare is a primitive backcountry trail. And then I can't read the rest. It's too small and blurry. So we're just... I guess we're wandering aimlessly? Or do we know where we're going? Oh, there's a sign back here. We just missed it. Oh, no. Okay, it's just a little... Little box. We're gonna carry it. By God, this this game is pretty. Oh, okay, and then we died. Okay, no, 1980 now. So it's been a few few years. I think five. I think. Um, it's a Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Oh, something's going on here. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad or you ignore her. <sighs> well, she had a good time, so... I mean, if there's stuff going on, it's gonna go on, so... You ignore her for now. You don't wanna, like... Fight just after... Just after, just after presumptions. Uh, you don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to any tiny of pe any tiny pill of res resentment. My God, my by God, my God. Okay, you make some coffee and go to work. I read. <laughs> Nineteen eighty-one. A year has passed. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like a he-man, or you frolic 
like a Victoria's Secret model. I quite like that, so we're gonna go and be <laughs> very nice. <laughs> so we're obviously walking somewhere. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Look at that. So I'm guessing we um have kind of this is like in the future a bit and we've like retired to the wilderness or something. Two forks, fire lookout. Okay. Okay, I, I guess we needed a break or something, so space to climb over obstructions. I love the music, love the graphics, love the style. Another year has passed. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. Oh, that's a dog, isn't it? There's a festival in town. It brings folks from far away places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Oh, okay. That escalated. Bucket gets kicked. But they yeah, fuck the dog. Julia, yell <laughs> Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away, or you beat his goddamn face in. Now, I don't think that scaring him away is going to. Uh, I, I don't. I don't think scaring him away is going to do much. So. Uh, but I feel like this is something to do with like being in the wilderness. Like it's one of those questions. Like, do you just do you go head in first, or do you try something else tactical? So we're gonna try and be tactical about this situation. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. Oh, that's that. Yeah, that, that that might do it. You manage to scare all three of you. Uh, three of yeah. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. That seems safe. I mean, unless it's a bad river. But um, another couple of years have passed, I think. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Uh, Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale's in... Oh my god. Yale is in Connest... Connect, connect to cut. <laughs> Yay! Two thousand miles away. Oh, Connecticut. Oh my god. I, I I just never seen that word like in a sentence before. But I know the place. So two thousand miles away. <laughs> it's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Or you agree her uh, agree if she commutes back and forth. But then <sighs> So you got <sighs> She she wants but she wants the move, that's her decision, right? So agree. I mean you're still being quite controlling by asking her to come back, but I guess you're in a relationship, so you ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard. But she'll do it if you if you won't move. But she'll do it if you won't move. Okay, you tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to the Boulder three times each semester. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. Oh god. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh god. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk it talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. What <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna say that so they've gotta talk about it. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Okay. Oh damn, we're back in the game again. Um, oh, I can't move this time. Oh, okay, we, we pick up a journal. Uh... <laughs> Okay, I guess that was the drawing. 
<laughs> they were wearing a Victoria's Secret model. That's brilliant. So that's what we look like. That's quite weird. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that is kind of nice because she, he gets in less trouble around the house. Um, another couple of years pass and Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. Oh dear god, you tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips and from to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. Jesus, what have I brought myself into? Another another year passes. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility, or you are determined to take care of her by yourself. Uh, I think in this, I I, I think we um, we fight our we stand our ground and we we try and take care of her. Because at this point, nothing's gone wrong. So, which is which isn't what I, well, I mean, other than the dementia part, but other than that, you know, what we first were worried about became something a lot worse. So, damn, this is pretty. Okay, looks like we got to balance ourselves on here. Oh god, <laughs> don't look away. Oh god, there's a. Ah, I. Mm, okay, I'm guessing it's gonna run away. That's awesome. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her. Like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter. You're going out after... You're going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door, or you trust that she sleeps like a rock. <sighs> I think we we've got to put some. We got to. You you still got to live your lives lives as normally as you can, and I think you just got to. You can't confine people. Oh, I don't know. It's difficult. Putting a chair in front of a bedroom door doesn't seem like... I think that could end in a lot of worse things, like she couldn't get out if there was a fire or something like that. So I think we just we trust that she sleeps like a rock. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time you tell Sheila, uh, Sheila the bartender, everything. It's a huge way off. You're home and in bed by 1am a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. One night you are stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point ten and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia, Julia's parents will take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. They tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. And I guess this is the fire watch. I guess we... Uh... Oh, right, okay. This must be... Uh... Our tower or somebody else's tower, I guess. Wow. It's 
big red flashy light up there. I don't know whether that's good or bad. I mean, I guess we're meant to go up here. So the music's gone. Okay, so board it up. That's not good. Turn on the power. Generator switch. Oh, nice. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Looks like we have a little radio. Hold left shift to activate. Okay. Oh, okay. Then we can select like uh, what we want to say here as well. Um. Hello. Whoever this is. It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? <laughs> what's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... What, sleep? Forever? <laughs> sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. You've killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against mom. Nobody back home can stand. What? Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. <laughs> Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Ooh, turn up my sound. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. <laughs> huh, is that it? Close? Good night. <laughs> good night. Welcome to the job. Okay. So. Day one. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that episode of Firewatch, and I shall see you all guys all soon. But yeah, um, please make sure if you liked it, do press the like button on there. It would help me out and support this channel grow, hopefully. And um, yeah, uh, subscribe if you want to see content in your, you know, my content come up in your in your sort of uh, news feed and everything, and keep up to date with the latest firewatch for the moment and hopefully more games to come soon so yeah peace out guys see ya